Narrated by Jurier. Allah's messenger peace be upon him came out to us on the night of the full moon and said, You will see your Lord on the day of resurrection as you see this, full moon, and you will have no difficulty in seeing him. Narrated by Adab bin Yazid al-Laythi, on the authority of Abu Huraira, the people said, O Allah's messenger peace be upon him. Shall we see our Lord on the day of resurrection? The Prophet peace be upon him said, Do you have any difficulty in seeing the moon on a full moon night? They said, No, O Allah's messenger peace be upon him. He said, Do you have any difficulty in seeing the sun when there are no clouds? They said, No, O Allah's messenger peace be upon him. He said, So you will see him, like that. Allah will gather all the people on the day of resurrection, and say, Whoever worshipped something, in the world, should follow, that thing, so, whoever worshipped the sun will follow the sun, and whoever worshipped the moon will follow the moon, and whoever used to worship certain, other false deities, he will follow those deities. And there will remain only this nation with its good people, or its hypocrites. The sub-narrator, Ibrahim is in doubt. Allah will come to them and say, I am your Lord. They will, deny him and, say, we will stay here till our Lord comes, for when our Lord comes, we will recognize him. So Allah will come to them in his appearance which they know, and will say, I am your Lord. They will say, you are our Lord, so they will follow him. Then a bridge will be laid across hell fire, I and my followers will be the first ones to go across it, and none will speak on that day except the apostles. And the invocation of the apostles on that day will be, O oh Allah, save! Save! In hell, or over the bridge, there will be hooks like the thorns of as Satan, thorny plant. Have you seen as Satan? They replied, Yes, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. He said, So those hooks look like the thorns of as Satan, but none knows how big they are except Allah. Those hooks will snap the people away according to their deeds. Some of the people will stay in hell, be destroyed, because of their evil deeds, and some will be cut or torn by the hooks, and fall into hell, and some will be punished and then relieved. When Allah has finished his judgments among the people, he will take whomever he will out of hell through his mercy. He will then order the angels to take out of the fire all those who used to worship none but Allah from among those whom Allah wanted to be merciful to, and those who testified, in the world, that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. The angels will recognize them in the fire by the marks of prostration, on their foreheads, for the fire will eat up all the human body except the mark caused by prostration as Allah has forbidden the fire to eat the mark of prostration. They will come out of the, hell, fire, completely burnt, and then the water of life will be poured over them, and they will grow under it as does a seed that comes in the mud of the torrent. Then Allah will finish the judgments among the people, and there will remain one man facing the hell fire, and he will be the last person among the people of hell to enter paradise. He will say, O oh my Lord! Please turn my face away from the fire because its air has hurt me, and its severe heat has burnt me. So he will invoke Allah in the way Allah will wish him to invoke, and then Allah will say to him, If I grant you that, will you then ask for anything else? He will reply, No, by your power, honor, I will not ask you for anything else. He will give his Lord whatever promises, and covenants Allah will demand. So Allah will turn his face away from hell fire. When he will face paradise and will see it, he will remain quiet for as long as Allah will wish him to remain quiet, then he will say, O oh my Lord! Bring me near to the gate of paradise. Allah will say to him, Didn't you give your promises, and covenants that you would never ask for anything more than what you had been given? Woe on you, O Adam's son! How treacherous you are! 
he will say, O my Lord, and will keep on invoking Allah till he says to him, If I give what you are asking, will you then ask for anything else? He will reply, No, by your honor, power, I will not ask for anything else. Then he will give covenants and promises to Allah and then Allah will bring him near to the gate of paradise. When he stands at the gate of paradise, paradise will be opened and spread before him, and he will see its splendor and pleasures whereupon he will remain quiet as long as Allah will wish him to remain quiet, and then he will say, O oh my Lord! Admit me into paradise. Allah will say, Didn't you give your covenants and promises that you would not ask for anything more than what you had been given? Allah will say, Woe on you! O oh Adam's son! How treacherous you are! The man will say, O oh my Lord! Do not make me the most miserable of your creation, and he will keep on invoking Allah till Allah will laugh because of his sayings, and when Allah will laugh because of him, he will say to him, Enter paradise, and when he will enter it, Allah will say to him, Wish for anything. So he will ask his Lord, and he will wish for a great number of things, for Allah himself will remind him to wish for certain things by saying, wish for, so and so. When there is nothing more to wish for, Allah will say, this is for you, and its equal, is for you, as well. Ada bin Yazid added, Abu Sa'id al-Qudri who was present with Abu Huraira, did not deny whatever the latter said, but when Abu Huraira said that Allah had said, that is for you and its equal as well, Abu Sa'id al-Qudri said, and ten times as much, O oh Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira said, I do not remember, except his saying, that is for you and its equal as well. Abu Sa'id al-Qudri then said, I testify that I remember the Prophet peace be upon him saying, that is for you, and ten times as much. Abu Huraira then added, that man will be the last person of the people of paradise to enter paradise. Narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Qudri, we said, O Allah's Messenger peace be upon him. Shall we see our Lord on the day of resurrection? He said, Do you have any difficulty in seeing the sun and the moon when the sky is clear? We said, No. He said, so you will have no difficulty in seeing your Lord on that day as you have no difficulty in seeing the sun and the moon, in a clear sky. The Prophet then said, Somebody will then announce, Let every nation follow what they used to worship. So the companions of the cross will go with their cross, and the idolaters, will go, with their idols, and the companions of every god, false deities, will go, with their god till there remain those who used to worship Allah, both the obedient ones and the mischievous ones, and some of the people of the scripture. Then hell will be presented to them as if it were a mirage. Then it will be said to the Jews, What did you use to worship? They will reply, We used to worship Ezra, the son of Allah. It will be said to them, You are liars, for Allah has neither a wife nor a son. What do you want now? They will reply, We want you to provide us with water. Then it will be said to them drink, and they will fall down in hell, instead. Then it will be said to the Christians, What did you use to worship? They will reply, We used to worship Messiah, the son of Allah. It will be said, You are liars, for Allah has neither a wife nor a son. What? do you want now? They will say, we want you to provide us with water. It will be said to them, drink, and they will fall down in hell, instead. When there remain only those who used to worship Allah, alone, both the obedient ones and the mischievous ones, it will be said to them, what keeps you here when all the people have gone? They will say, we parted with them, in the world, when we were in greater need of them than we are today, we heard the call of one proclaiming, Let every nation follow what they used to worship, and now we are waiting for our Lord.
then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw the first time, and he will say, I am your Lord, and they will say, You are not our Lord. And none will speak, to him then but the prophets, and then it will be said to them, Do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? They will say, The shin, and so Allah will then uncover his shin whereupon every believer will prostrate before him, and there will remain those who used to prostrate before him just for showing off, and for gaining good reputation. These people will try to prostrate but their backs will be rigid like one piece of a wood, and they will not be able to prostrate. Then the bridge will be laid across hell. We, the companions of the Prophet peace be upon him said, O Allah's messenger peace be upon him. What is the bridge? He said, it is a slippery, bridge, on which there are clamps and, hooks like, a thorny seed that is wide at one side, and narrow at the other and has thorns with bent ends. Such a thorny seed is found in Najd and is called as Satan. Some of the believers will cross the bridge as quickly as the wink of an eye, some others as quick as lightning, a strong wind, fast horses, or she camels. So some will be safe without any harm, some will be safe after receiving some scratches, and some will fall down into hell fire. The last person will cross by being dragged, over the bridge. The Prophet peace be upon him said, You, Muslims, cannot be more pressing in claiming from me a right that has been clearly proved to be yours than the believers in interceding with Almighty for their, Muslim, brothers on that day when they see themselves safe. They will say, O oh Allah! Save, our brothers, for they, used to pray with us, fast with us, and also do good deeds with us. Allah will say, Go, and take out of hell, anyone in whose heart you find faith equal to the weight of one, gold, dinar. Allah will forbid the fire to burn the faces of those sinners. They will go to them, and find some of them in hell fire, up to their feet, and some up to the middle of their legs. So they will take out those whom they will recognize, and then they will return, and Allah will say, to them, Go and take out, of hell, anyone in whose heart you find faith equal to the weight of one half dinar. They will take out whomever they will recognize and return, and then Allah will say, Go and take out, of hell anyone in whose heart you find faith equal to the weight of an atom, or a smallest ant, and so they will take out all those whom they will recognize. Abu Sa'id said, If you do not believe me then read the holy verse. Surely. Allah wrongs not even of the weight of an atom, or a smallest ant, but if there is any good, done, he doubles it. Surah 4 verse 40, the Prophet added, then the prophets and angels and the believers will intercede, and, last of all, the Almighty, Allah, will say, Now remains my intercession. He will then hold a handful of the fire from which he will take out some people whose bodies have been burnt, and they will be thrown into a river at the entrance of paradise, called the water of life. They will grow on its banks, as a seed carried by the torrent grows. You have noticed how it grows beside a rock or beside a tree, and how the side facing the sun is usually green while the side facing the shade is white. Those people will come out, of the river of life, like pearls, and they will have, golden, necklaces, and then they will enter paradise whereupon the people of paradise will say, these are the people emancipated by the beneficent. He has admitted them into paradise without them having done any good deeds, and without sending forth any good, for themselves. Then it will be said to them, For you is what you have seen and its equivalent as well. Narrated by Anas, the Prophet peace be upon him said, The believers will be kept, waiting, on the day of resurrection so long that they will become worried and say, let us ask somebody to intercede for us with our Lord so that he may relieve us from our place. Then they will go to Adam and say, You are Adam, the father of the people. 
Allah created you with his own hand, and made you reside in his paradise, and ordered his angels to prostrate before you, and taught you the names of all things will you intercede for us with your Lord, so that he may relieve us from this place of ours. Adam will say, I am not fit for this undertaking. He will mention his mistakes he had committed, means his eating off the tree though he had been forbidden to do so. He will add, Go to Noah, the first prophet sent by Allah to the people of the earth. The people will go to Noah who will say, I am not fit for this undertaking he will mention his mistake which he had done, means his asking his Lord without knowledge. He will say, to them, go to Abraham, Khalil ar Rahman. They will go to Abraham who will say, I am not fit for this undertaking. He would mention three words by which he told a lie, and say, to them. Go to Moses, a slave whom Allah gave the Torah and spoke to, directly and brought near him, for conversation. They will go to Moses who will say, I am not fit for this undertaking. He will mention his mistake he made, means killing a person, and will say, to them, go to Jesus, Allah's slave, and his apostle, and a soul created by him and his word. B, and it was. They will go to Jesus who will say, I am not fit for this undertaking but you'd better go to Muhammad, the slave whose past and future sins have been forgiven by Allah. So they will come to me, and I will ask my Lord's permission to enter his house and then I will be permitted. When I see him I will fall down in prostration before him, and he will leave me, in prostration, as long as he will, and then he will say, O Muhammad, lift up your head and speak, for you will be listened to, and intercede, for your intercession will be accepted, and ask, for anything, for it will be granted, then I will raise my head and glorify my Lord with certain praises which he has taught me. Allah will put a limit for me, to intercede for a certain type of people, I will take them out and make them enter paradise. Katata said, I heard Anna saying that, the prophet peace be upon him said, I will go out and take them out of hellfire, and let them enter paradise, and then I will return and ask my Lord for permission to enter his house and I will be permitted. When I will see him I will fall down in prostration before him, and he will leave me in prostration as long as he will let me, in that state, and then he will say, O Muhammad, raise your head and speak, for you will be listened to, and intercede, for your intercession will be accepted, and ask, your request will be granted. The Prophet peace be upon him added, so I will raise my head and glorify, and praise him as he has taught me. Then I will intercede, and he will put a limit for me, to intercede for a certain type of people. I will take them out, and let them enter paradise. Katata added, I heard Anna saying that, the Prophet said, I will go out, and take them out of hell fire, and let them enter paradise, and I will return for the third time and will ask my Lord for permission to enter his house, and I will be allowed to enter. When I see him, I will fall down in prostration before him, and will remain in prostration as long as he will, and then he will say, Raise your head, O Muhammad, and speak, for you will be listened to, and intercede, for your intercession will be accepted, and ask, for your request will be granted. So I will raise my head, and praise Allah as he has taught me, and then I will intercede and he will put a limit for me, to intercede for a certain type of people. I will take them out and let them enter paradise. Katata said, I heard Anna saying that, the prophet peace be upon him said, so I will go out and take them out of hell fire, and let them enter paradise, till none will remain in the fire except those whom Quran will imprison, means, those who are destined for eternal life in the fire. The narrator then recited the verse, it may be that your Lord will raise you to a station of praise and glory. Surah 17 verse 79, the narrator added, this is the station of praise, and glory which Allah has promised to your Prophet.